I think schools and education should be more focused on the practicality of how to live like, like with money. Like all my growing up in school, there was nothing really to, to yes. help you understand about, yeah, about uh, finances and yes, how to manage no, there your finances. Is no, there is why, no, why in all the education yes. system everywhere do there they not no teach financial. you the most important yes, thing in there life? There is no <laughs> financial literacy. Yes. Don't you find that odd? Yeah. That's why there's a lot of like in in our in 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 my company that I'm, I I join. One of the our main product is financial education. So if you have wealth, um, learn how to manage it well. And if you don't have wealth, okay, save, 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 and give. Yeah, just maintain. Just do the balance. And don't forget the tidings. It's all. Yeah, giving is is one of the biggest keys, I think, because according to the Word of God, God says, like you know, he, in Malachi, the book of Malachi, he said, just on the tithe alone. I mean, there's other kinds of giving too, but just on the tithe alone, if if you give tithe, he said uh, he'd open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that there won't be room enough for you to contain it or receive it. It'll be so great. That's just based on your tithe giving. That's in the book of Malachi. That's what it says. So just on your giving alone, you can uh, really prosper in life. That's what the scripture says. Not my words. <laughs> yeah. It's all about, you know, what we are doing. We, we don't realize that what we are doing is all in the Bible. Yeah, just try to, you know, read. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. In my own experience, like, when I was a kid, I really, really read Bible. But growing up... <laughs> you got lazy. <laughs> I think we all... Get I have Bible, lazy. but it's sleeping in the apartment. But yeah, sometimes, just like, just like last, last night, um, we watched some stories in YouTube about the Bible. Yeah, about the stories in the Bible. That's good too. Yeah, that's why I I try to, you know, uh, read in my own version because uh, in YouTube it's English, so my Bible is Tagalog. So I try to read in my ear just to have more understanding. Yeah. That's why. That's what you have to do. Because even the Apostle Paul said, he said, um, you know, basically he said, don't just take my word for it, he said. I'm just putting it in my own words. But he said, don't take my word for the things I say, but search out the scriptures yourself. That's what the Apostle Paul said, right? He said, don't just take my word for it. You have to search out the scriptures yourself. So that's a good thing. Even when you hear someone and, preach or say something, you really need to check it out yourself. Yeah. And also... Um, when you are rich, you need to um, have a kind heart and generous heart and also you need to have God in your life because uh, most of the rich, um, I'm not saying everything, like uh, just what I've heard in the news, not just recently, like it's... Um, Growing up, I always heard the news like, oh, they are rich, but they're doing illegal activities. Um, yeah, that's why they prosper that much. And, but if you have God as a center of your life, you will become rich with, like, um, like in a legal way, in a right way. Oh, yeah. 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 Just, like, uh, they said, I always hear this, the love of money is the root of evil. Well, that's what the Bible says, mm -hmm. the love of money is the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of all evil, yes. That's the love of money. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean money, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a good point. Yeah. Like, uh, some people think it's like it's wrong to have a lot of money or you, you shouldn't nothing wrong to have want a lot that of lot money. of money, but yeah. it's the love. Because you can, you can use that money to help others. Exactly. And, yeah. Be a blessing to others. Plus, you get yourself out of debt, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
but you know guys nowadays um a, a, a person which is uh came from a poor family they are more generous yeah yeah i think you're right yeah they are more de- generous because uh, they know how to be grateful and they know what's the feeling when you don't have anything and no one can help you yeah but you just need to pray and pray and god will provide just trust god yeah and that's a, that's another thought too is, is faith like trust god is faith right and another scripture says that without faith you cannot please god yeah. and faith is simply believing god right you pray and you totally believe god like there's a mystery i think there's another scripture that talks about uh, the mystery of faith working right because it's just simply believing god and that's kind of a mystery because if you don't believe god then your faith's not going to work obviously because there is no faith oh we had an earthquake <laughs> another earth- okay we had an earthquake yeah. sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> we're, we're joking if the camera fell off the dash for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake in the Gospels, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the world and lose his own soul? Yeah, we were talking about That's that. It. You have everything in the world, but you lose your own soul. It, it really is about looking out for each other. I mean, because it, that's what it's, it's saying. It's a warning. What good is it to gain the whole world? In other words, the things that are in the world, the things about the world, um, <clears throat> you're not to put your heart into. Your heart is to help each other, love each other, live for God. That's what that scripture is saying, right? Mm-hmm. Then you don't lose your soul. In fact, you know, you're, uh, you're nurturing your soul. And another scripture that comes to mind is that same same along the same lines is that as you're doing good trying to help and trying to be a blessing and trying to live for god mm-hmm. the bible says like i call these small commandments not like the ten commandments but there's little commandments that jesus gave throughout the word he says uh lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven so he's telling us by doing these things you're actually putting treasure for yourself in heaven and he tells us to do that lay for yourself treasures in heaven so that's a really good scripture just like on earth you might try to put aside some money you know to uh, I guess like a little treasure on earth to help you in life but Jesus said you can lay for yourself treasures in heaven he says he says to do that lay aside treasures in heaven and that's by doing these things right obedience to God helping others doing this for someone doing that for someone because another scripture says that uh, giving a cup of cold water even in the name of a disciple will not lose its reward in heaven in other words you got a reward even for just doing it the simplest task to help someone yeah and he gave that example so that's a very big key i think is is always serving others really and you're laying treasure for yourself in heaven is that real yeah so i also remember if if i'm not mistaken um i don't know where which verse in the Bible uh, I heard this uh, it's a story about the rich man and the poor man like the rich man is like he's living a lavish life when he's still alive and that poor man is like he's giving almost all of his you know profit even if it's uh, poor to just to offer to God and then when they died the poor man goes to heaven <laughs> and the rich man goes to <laughs> hell of course because like uh, and 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 also the the rich man um, uh, asked uh, the Lord that um, the, uh, that guy is a poor man in, while he's still alive and I am um, one of the wealthiest in in or on earth while i'm still alive but why is he like having a good life here and why i like the like their situation uh change something like that 
yeah, I heard a story about that. So, yeah, again, um, yeah. I mean, it was the same kind of principle, right? Mm -hmm. The poor man, yeah. and the rich man was yeah right with his heart with God. Helping so it's connected to money. The, yes, <laughs> yeah. And 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 how you deal with mm -hmm. your money? Yeah. Money is a big thing in life, yes. you know. And how your mindset is towards money, because you can use it for good. Yeah. And you can use it for selfishness and evil, right? Yes. And it's really just that simple. You just if you have money, like pray for wisdom, how to build it. Yeah. Yeah. Always pray for yes, wisdom. Yes, wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. And the Bible even says, if you feel like you lack wisdom, it says, ask of the Father. Mm -hmm. Specifically on that point, yes. wisdom. If yeah. you lack wisdom. Ask of the Father who gives liberally. In other words, He gives it in big amounts. Just ask for wisdom. Yes, exactly. You have such good points. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, because sometimes um, I just, when, when we are in the LDR. Long uh, distance relationship. Yes. <laughs> like, we're talking about this all the time. Every day when we're on the phone. We're talking about Bible. I don't remember the time when we are in a long distance relationship that we don't discuss or talk about Bible. And like uh, when he talks about that, it's just, it's really, I get, uh, you know, starstruck with you because, <sighs> yeah, it's like I really love to hear when you talk about that. Well, because I feel the same way. I love when and, you talk and about because I remember my childhood. <laughs> I I always uh, read the Bible. That's one of my story, my favorite story book. And when I meet him, it's like, oh, are you a pastor? <laughs> yeah. Or are you just yeah. me? Yeah. It's just you know, kind of. He's really an amazing guy. No, I'm just me. But we do enjoy each other's conversation, mm -hmm. talking yeah. about things of God, and that, that yes. is, I, I feel the same it's way. It's not boring, it's not really boring. No, but I feel the same way. If but your really. heart is like longing for God, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm crying. I <laughs> But I enjoy the same thing about you, like you say that about me, but I honestly feel the same way exactly about you. Like, it's, it's, it's great that, that you love to think about the Word of God, you talk about the Word of God, and sometimes we're finding things out together, right? Like sometimes I'm thinking about something and she corrects me. <laughs> this happened a few times. <laughs> I'm like, like last night. What, 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 we were what? Well, last okay. night we're talking okay. about uh, two people who never died and went to heaven. You yeah. said there was three, and I'm like, three? Is there three? Yeah. Oh, there was only two. <laughs> and then, then uh, you know, yeah. she was showing me on a video how Melchizedek yeah, I was the third it, I one. Know. I forgot that's, about that's Melchizedek. That's the time that I. I read my Bible because I really want to, because I remember it's a tree who, um, <laughs> you know, didn't die, a tree person who didn't die in the Bible. And I forgot the third one. So yeah. just we discuss about that. Yeah, I forgot too. Because yeah. Once she said Melchizedek, and I was like, oh yeah, Melchizedek. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. See, but she reminds me of stuff all the time. <laughs> it's just yeah. that sometimes I, I know the story, but I forget the names. But I, I know the story and sometimes it's hard for me to explain because of this language barrier. <laughs> yeah, that, I really admire that about you too because I mean you're, you're having to translate in your mind to communicate all these things and that's amazing. Just in itself that's amazing. So that's our biblical talk for today. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel The Filipina and the Foreigner and the Filipina recorded live. That's a good one. God bless us. And you. <laughs>